Hello guys, it's Herman here from HSS IT Services. Today what we're going to do is we have this MacBook Air which doesn't power it up at all because guess what? Uh, the owner has still some liquid on it. Okay, so you know what happened when you drop some liquid on your computer, then the logic board is completely dead. Okay, so this is a good note. Uh, they bring it over and then we will take care of that, okay? So before we uh, we move forward, uh, I will show you the steps, okay? I will just we will show you that it's good, I will connect it and you will give it a second. So let's keep moving. As I said before, this one is completely dead, okay? Here we have the power jack. We will connect it over and you will see that nothing is working at all because it is dead, okay? So. Let's connect it up. Okay, you see it's connected. We'll try to power it on. But as I said, it is the body body is there. We will test, you see. So it's kind of tough. However, uh, the most important part is you guys will see the process, how we can do that, and then uh, you will learn, alright? So what we're gonna do is we will unscrew all this screw here. Okay. So for this job actually I do have this is my 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 kit I have here. So I'm gonna use. I actually gonna need those two okay to unscrew but I won't really teach you guys how to unscrew a laptop, okay? I'm pretty sure I will just unscrew everything, remove all the screws in the back and then I will back to you so for the further step. Alright? I'll be back. Alright guys, also as I was saying, this is uh, the tool that we're gonna need. This is one. And then we we'll, of course need those two guys. And of course you always need your your anti your anti-static switch. Okay, to avoid you damage the new motorboard. Actually this is the computer I haven't opened yet. And then I'm showing the box here with the new uh, with the new uh, logic box. Check this baby out. This is a logic book. <laughs> All right, so let's rock and roll, baby. So I will be starting right now. Let's move it on. So, as I said, I will. I won't be teaching you guys how to remove all the screws okay of course not i won't so here you go i'm removing everything here so this is the process this one is out this one is out however as i said i won't teach you how to remove all the screws so i will stop this and then we will see at the next step so now i have removed all the screws so now we will restart the back here we go this one is, is done oh yeah my babies they're around they're playing they're having fun at the same time while i'm working okay so this is actually inside okay this is what we need to remove okay we will remove this and then so we can get it replaced so we'll remove this one two three four five six so we have six screws seven screws to remove from here okay so I will get this also unscrewed, all this, and then uh, let me show you right here. I will get all this unscrewed also, okay? I will remove this. So once everything is completed, I will back to you again, all right? Let the phone begin. So I start here. Show you an interchange. So we go with that one. So you see, it's very, it's very easy, okay? So now I remove that one. Okay. So what I like to do is I will place everything at the same place where I remove them. So I put one here so I can remember. Okay. So I will keep doing the same thing. And as I said, guys, I'm sure you that, but I won't be able to teach you how. Alright, guys. So as I said, now we have the computer is open. We will then. We will start doing. We will just connect the cable. So here we go. And here we will just connect. We will pick up this one here. You see this here? You have to pick it up. And then here you, you carefully 
it, you have to be very careful, okay? We will remove the cable from here, from the remote, so we can go here, and we will also remove the power cable here. You have to be very, very careful. So this is actually, this is the battery. Right as I was showing you, okay, I will continue showing you what uh, what we're gonna do here with this. So I'm zooming a bit so it will be easier for you guys to see. Okay. So same, I've been removing this cable already. You see, this has been removed. Uh, we've removed everything. So this one here we remove from here. This is for the fan. We remove this cable also from here. Okay, it's very easy to remove that. Be very careful at this point. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you do it with two also those three screws. Okay. For the fan. So now we will leave this on here, and then we will remove this here. We put the fan right here. Just to ensure everything is okay. And we we'll disconnect everything. And this actually to, to remove this, what you do is you just you pull this first, and then you remove from here. And actually this is for the wireless. We will remove this also carefully. Remove that one. We remove also that one. One important thing is this is your RAM memory. So your memory RAM we will do we will unscrew this. We will lift it up. Okay. So let's put this right here first. To make it easier for you here. You pull. Remove your RAM. Okay. You do it right there, baby. And you put this closer so you remember this is for that okay so go back here on duty so right here everything is nice everything is alright here also if you want you can remove you can actually remove you know you can also remove the wireless charge if you want if you want to do so you can okay so you will just do the same thing remove that one and then you pull okay and then John, you remove the one you put here also just to ensure and then what you're gonna do now next step is we will remove there is like we will remove those two right here okay just to see in order for us to remove that charge and then we will be removing the logic board which is right here I will put in pause again and I will be back okay just because essentially I won't be showing you every step how to unscrew and screw blah blah but however as I said the purpose of removing this is because there have been uh, there has been some liquid in it okay and you can put it into the liquid here you see this you see so everything everything is all wet so I will have to get a big job on that because I will have to dry everything but hopefully it will work again alright very well so now it's moving. All right, very well. So once we unscrew everything, so now the logic board will be ready to move. Okay. So you will kindly remove your logic board from here. Okay? So now the logic board is removed. So we will take it here, and then we will clean everything, and then to ensure that once we put the other one back, everything is ready to go. All right. So give me a second, we will keep working on it and then hopefully it will work again. So now I have to dry everything is clean and dry. There is no more. There is no more liquid anywhere in here. Okay. So everything is very dry, everything is clean. So at this point, you see, at this point, I can go back and put on my new logic board. Okay? So, take 
Xbox, which is Xbox, which is my new logic board. And then I will do the same thing to the new logic board. All the tables should be up, you will do that way just to ensure. Okay, I will be finishing this, I will be back. So, guys, now uh, here we go, guys. So, now mission accomplished because the MacBook Air is up and running, and this is what we do at Asus and at HSS IT services. We set our customer free. Now he is done. My customer will be fully happy. This is the old logic board. Okay. And uh, as you guys can see, I will zoom a bit. This is the old logic board. It is here. The one that I have replaced. Okay. So the computer is up and running, my customer will be very very happy. And this is actually the the wireless card. This is all the screws. So I will then uh, finish my job. Yeah. I will just ensure that he is happy and then yeah, that's what we do. We are life savers. That's what IT guys do. Okay? We love our job, we love what we do and then guys thanks for watching i hope you really like it and i didn't show you all the steps because it's the same thing again i don't see myself showing you how to screw this back again and put the, the back cover and then i know you already know that okay again peace uh, if you like what you've seen please hit the like button below and then subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos okay once again have a wonderful day Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I wish you have a wonderful day. I remember you that my name is Herman. It is at IT Services. And now my son is calling. That means I have to go to do some other duties. <laughs> you have a nice one. Again, share my video, subscribe, and like.